Good morning friends. This video will be demonstrating hydrozone arthrodiastasis of the hip with UVBI MAHT for avascular necrosis of femoral head with early arthritis. The IAOS methodology consists of hydrozone arthrodiastasis, UVBI MAHT followed by Mukherjee regime for 18 months. The procedures are repeated every two months. Video shows the complete procedure and the immediate post-injection results of the patient. Here is a 24-year-old patient with an avian reduced joint space and almost stiff hip who had less than 50 degrees of flexion. You can see the extent of the arthritis and the fixity of the hip by the X-ray position itself. First of all, gloves are on. The inguinal area from where we will be approaching into the hip joint is cleaned. The procedure can be done inside an operation theatre under CM or in the theatre premises without the CM if the surgeon is experienced enough. We are going from anterior, the patient has got a lot of pain and uh, you can see the slight flexion deformity of the hip. First of all, we take 1 to 1 1.5 ml of 2% xylocaine or lignocaine to which we add 10 mg of quinacot steroid in low doses is chondroprotective especially intraarticular long acting steroid. This is then diluted with 6 to 7 ml of water to make it close to 8 ml. We must remember that this cocktail plus gaseous molecular hydrogen plus gaseous molecular ozone should all be administered through a single prick using the same needle while the syringes are changed. We now take a bivalve or a three bed. First, a 10 cc hydrogen compatible syringe is used which is attached to one end of the three way and the three way is kept closed because we do not want the hydrogen to escape. Now we extract hydrogen from the hydrogen generator and immediately lock it in a three way and check the pressure to see that hydrogen is trapped inside the syringe. Now we take ozone in another syringe and that is put on the other side. For ozone we use a latex free syringe. Here we are collecting about 20 milliliters or 25 milliliters of 70 microgram percent of ozone. So we have taken 20 ml of 70 microgram ozone concentration, 10 ml of 99.99 percent purity hydrogen. These two syringes are locked and kept aside. The gases are retained in them till injection. We now enter the joint and inject the cocktail straight through. You may have to put a little pressure as it is a tight space and after injection only the syringe must be removed. We must not remove the needle. We now attach the hydrozone combination. First of all ozone is injected 
and once ozone is injected the by wall is turned the other way to allow hydrogen to be put in and this causes an arthrodiastasis or opening up of the tight joint space for ultraviolet blood irradiation it is better to wear uv protective glasses so that staring at the ultraviolet radiation does not cause any damage to the eye 1 ml of apparel is taken and this goes into the iaos mahd bottle iaos mahd bottles are pre vacuumed and have three spots a small round spot for the apparel a big round spot for the blood and a plus spot for the ozone the transfusion set is now primed with 0.5 ml of apparel this is a real time video where it has not been speeded up so that we can watch the procedure as it happens step by step half cc of apparel is now put and the drip set is shaken to ensure that this apparel travels up to the bulb coating or priming the interior of the drip set the drip set bulb is capped and the opposite end is attached to a butterfly 18 gauge and this system becomes sealed the bulb is passed through the uvbi illumination system and the set is closed before the butterfly is inserted into the vein using a tourniquet the vein is identified and the butterfly is inserted into the vein once the blood starts coming into the butterfly canola tube we open the transfusion set and now we push the bulb into the vacuum tailor bottle before opening the transfusion set and once it has been pushed in thoroughly the transfusion set is open once it is opened blood starts flowing into the tube due to gravity so again the gravity due to the vacuum of the bottle in less than a minute 50 to 60 ml of blood are collected in the bottle at this stage we need to draw 50 to 60 ml of 70 microgram percent or 70 gamma of ozone the bottle has markings and when the blood crosses 60 ml we close the drip set and stop collecting the blood the drip set is closed blood the ozone is drawn from the machine here we have used 1 by 8 of a liter per minute on the regulator along with switch 2 of iaos mark 5 ozone generating machine once the ozone is collected in the syringe the syringe is removed a needle is attached to the tip and the needle is bent to 90 degrees this needle goes through a plus into the bottle and the ozone is sucked in automatically the bottle is inverted the syringe alone is removed and that needle is retained as an air vent the bottle goes into the 
ultraviolet radiation chamber where the uv lights are switched on now the patient has already started flexing the hip beyond 90 degrees because the ortho has this has become effective and the pain in his hip is reducing considerably it takes less than 5 to 7 minutes for the blood ozonized blood to return into the patient's body we wait till the blood is completely gone from the set after which we need to remove the transfusion set and then pad and paste tightly to ensure that the blood does not leak the subsequent uh, videos show the immediate post operative movements of the patient we had actually shown you the demonstration of hydrozoal arthrodiastasis with ultraviolet blood irradiation and ozone major autohemotherapy for avascular necrosis of the hip joint and this is the immediate post procedure video where the patient is squatting this patient had a fixed flexion deformity and could not flex beyond 50 degrees prior to the procedure immediately after the procedure he is sitting squat legged and he is smiling he is getting up unassisted good for further details about equipment technology or ozone courses please contact the above number in whatsapp thank you very much thank you